All right, Catherine, time to get a pencil. Okay. Here we go. Today, we get to mark off completed assemblies. So stuff that we got done already, we're gonna do the mark off on. So let's find our tail. I see stabilator structure. Mm -hmm. We did that. Stabilator skin, stabilator assembly, and the substructure details. You can put your initials on those four. And then rudder vader, we got those done as well. So rudder vader assemblies, rudder assembly through the, we haven't done the installation, so we can mark off those four right there as well. All right, so next, what did you say we were gonna work on next? The wings. The wings. Today, we're going to be working on the wings. Yay. So. There are three important parts of the wing. The spar, the ribs, and the skin. Today, we're going to be working on the spars. In my kit, when I got it, there was one spar already done. We're just going to inspect it and see if there's anything we need to fix. Then grab the pieces of the right-hand spar and put them together. Let's get to work. There's a couple things back here in the wing that we are going to look at. So let's talk about the parts of the wing. What are your parts of the wing? Do you remember? The wing spar, the wing ribs, and the skin. Yeah, those are the three main parts. Okay, and what that looks like is kind of like a ladder. Really? It's the structure. So I'm finding the picture that looks kind of like a ladder so we can take a look at it together. So we know what we have to do to build the wing. It's right here on this page, okay? So on this page right here, I'm coming right here so you can see it better. This is the main spar. It's mm -hmm. the big structure. It holds all the way to the airplane. This is the rear spar. The rear spar keeps the wing straight and doesn't let it twist or warp. That's the extra strength. And in between those two spars are all the ribs. The ribs are what give the wings the shape, and that's why it kind of looks like a ladder, right? But I won't be able to climb. Nope, you'll be able to climb that ladder. Once we get all the structure built, then we'll put the skin on it, and that will be the wing. Does that kind of make sense? Mm-hmm. All right. So we're basically building its body. Like and then, a skeleton? Yeah, like building a skeleton, then later putting on a skin. That's exactly right. That way isn't it it isn't walking around like a naked like naked bones. Mm, more or less. Cool. So now we gotta find the page that has the spar details, because that's what we have to start with. And that's this page right here. So what we have to do is take all this information, slide this over so it can be flat. All this information right here and make it into a piece. Looks kind of busy, doesn't it? There's lots of words on here. Mm. Yep, that's why we do it one step at a time. Okay, so behind us, we have the first spark. We already kind of put this one together. This is for the left wing. And what I want you to do is twist it up with me. So grab that far side, put the pencil back in the pencil holder. You don't even keep the pencil anymore. Grab the far side. But you literally told me to get a pencil. I did, and we're gonna twist it up. Okay, so this is how the wing spar is in the airplane. This is your left wing. That's forward. So if you walk around that end of the table and look that way, wing. that's your left wing. Okay, it doesn't look like a wing, does it? Let's make it look a little bit more like a wing. Grab your Clico pliers, grab your rib, and walk back around to the front. Don't we need a Clico? Got him right here. We're gonna put that rib right there. Like this? Yep, like that. So we're gonna line up the holes. Here's your Clico. I 
go. Okay, now I'll go back over there. Mm-hmm. And does that look a little bit more like a wing structure? Sort of. Sort of. What we're missing right now are all the middle spars and the rear spar. Mm -hmm. But we'll get to that later. Today's focus is going to be building up the spars and making sure we've got all the pieces for both of them together so we have two main spars that we can assemble. Because mm -hmm. that's the building block approach. All right. Let's go ahead and take this rib back off. Okay. Hold it so it didn't fall. There we Twist. go. All right, let's set it back down. What we're doing right now is making sure we have all the pieces to the spar. We need to get all the pieces that way we know which pieces we need because they aren't all organized already for us. Okay, go up and over. Up, stop, stop, stop. Go backwards. Up and over. This is so... Up and over. And we're going to lay it down. So flexible. And bendy. All right. Let's grab another piece of this bar. We have to go through searching through all these parts and pieces because none of it is organized. So these are all the extra pieces to make the other wing spar. So we went and dug through the pile. We've got the top piece, the bottom piece, the main span, the intermediate spans, that rib and root attached pieces, and then the actual overlap pieces right here. So these are all the pieces that are on this one already, mm -hmm. except for the rib, okay? Notice that this has already been drilled, so it's holding itself together. If you look at this piece, has it been drilled yet? Mm -mm. It is undrilled, so we've got to do all the alignment to use these as pilot holes to get this ready to go, okay? So before we do that, we need to make sure we have the pieces in the right order. So we want to build these, what we call mirror or bookend. You know what bookend is? It's like mm -hmm. if you open up a book, it looks the same. Oh. Okay, so this one is the lower. So it's right there on the tab. Mm -hmm. This is the upper. So let's trade places with these two. Pick this one up and hold it. Pick this one up and move it to the top. Okay, and we'll set this one down right here. The next thing we need to do is figure out the order 
for these three pieces right here. These are three big, thick, strong pieces for the center spar web. So let's set these down and go look at the plans to make sure we know what we're gonna do for the border, okay? Mm -hmm. So these are parts that we didn't need, so I'm just gonna set these on the bottom for right now. And here we're sorting through stuff. So what we're looking for is the order of the plates right here. And it's not spelled out on this page, so let's look at the next page. So there's the three pieces right here. The long upper spar cap, the lower spar cap, the main spar web, and the spar web doubler. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got those. We've got a spacer tool. Ooh, we don't have the spacer bar. We need to find those. We didn't find those yet. Let's go find those. <sighs> We've already got this piece. We've got to get the spacer bar. Yeah, so, spacer bar. So we got the spacer bar. Okay, I got the spacer bar. This is the... Flip this like this. This is the eighth inch thick, which is 0.125. So this is the center spar web. Because mm -hmm. it's the one that has the little hook this direction. It has the little hook this direction. Okay, so we got that piece. Move your elbows. We've got... Our very flexible other thingy. Yeah, this is got the aft spar web. That's this piece up here. This is the one that goes on the back. Very we got to clean these pieces too. Oh, yay. And this is our main spar doubler web. Do we have a part number on here? Probably not. What's this say right here? W1005. W1005. Mm -hmm. Doubler, spar web. So those are the pieces. Now we've got to figure out the order in which it goes. And look, let me show you something. As we set this down, I bet this is the same thickness as that. Sure is. I wonder where that's going to go together. I also bet that these holes are going to line up. And this one is going to line up as well. So this has to go somewhere down here like that. We'll have to see that with, with the plants. Okay, so we build our idea. Mm -hmm. Take and put our pieces back. Okay, Catherine, so this is the left-hand rib root installation mm -hmm. looking outboard at the left-hand root rib at the main spar. So this is that spar, mm -hmm. that piece over there. Mm -hmm. Here's the I-beam construction. So we've got the top, the bottom, and the middle that connects it. This is forward, because that's what the arrow says, and this is up. So we're looking forward at that, and as we go straight up to this top drawing, now we're looking at the top of it. So we've looked from this direction to looking at it this direction. Does that kind of make sense? So it went from here to here. Correct, so come over here. If we look right down the spar in this direction, you see that eye shape with the top, the bottom, and the middle? Would it help if we take this piece off? Yeah. Well, grab your click pliers. Oh no, I, I see it. You see it? Yeah. And then if you take and look from right down the end to over the top, if you look over the this part, you can see that piece that it's talking about right there. Yeah. Does that make sense from the plans? Mm-hmm.
Okay, so we come back over the fence. Down the I-beam to looking at the top of it. Okay, so we've got that part. And this is the left wing. This is the left wing. So that part we've got. But what I don't like is on here, mm -hmm. as we look down this bar, this one should go backwards and this one should go in. If you look at this bar, come here. This is backwards. Really? Does this go in and this go out? No. No. This goes out and this goes in. So these pieces are backwards. We gotta fix that. Okay. So how do we fix that? I don't know. <laughs>